Hello everybody, this is Game God Fluent bringing you episode 2 of Let's Play Himiko Sutori. Alright, so we're going to get right into it. In today's episode, we are heading out to fight some slimes, apparently. Exit to world map, so let's check out the world map. Um, let's see here. Okay. Okay, world map movement is... Um, click based. Talk to the village elders. Okay, optional defeat slimes. Hone your skills against slimes before fighting tougher enemies. Okay, let's go this way. I don't know if slimes are a random enemy or how this works. Beautiful music. Bandits are right there. Aha. Bandits are right there. Where would slime be? Goblin patrol. Okay, this is pretty interesting. Um looks like it shows the strength of the battle so the blue would be us our strength versus um or their numbers perhaps of the bandits and same here with the goblin patrol um oh this is cool i don't know where the wolf pack abandoned mine oh they interesting locations um, I guess we'll try our luck against the goblin patrol we have an auto save before battle <clears throat> excuse me whoops okay I can't I can't look all right Yumi's Lance Rami's Lance and Emmy's lands. So let's take our melee lands and put it right here. Let's take our range lands and put it right here. And let's take our other melee slash range lands and put it right here. And start the battle. Wow, there's quite a bit of them. I don't know if we're in over our heads. Okay, so there's four units of wolves, it looks like. Let's move this unit there. Let's move them right behind. And let's move this one here to meet up with them. Here come the goblins. Okay. So we're going to form a wall right here. And end our turn. I will fear no evil. I curse you and your dog faced mother. Enemy miscreant Zvrolik was defeated. Could use a little help here. Oh, the ranged unit is attacking by ranged. I see. Another ranged unit. Alright, we need it. You guys. Come up here and attack this unit. Ah! 
We need this unit to attack this unit. Alright, they're in stupor. And, and we need you guys. Oh, I picked the direction they look. My mistake. Alright, so we got a bit of a flank bonus here. And you look that direction. Hopefully we don't lose anybody. Ouch. Oh, there's another unit back there. They're backing up. They don't seem to be inflicting a ton of damage. Um, you guys go chase them. Why can't I come right here? I'm not sure why. Uh, I have to zigzag. We're going to come up and attack them. And we can pick melee or ranged down here. Okay, we killed one of them. Bear Bite was defeated. Um, let's just go ahead and range these guys. Oh, I have to right click, okay. Enemy Wolf Brute Summer Wind was defeated. And let's attack. Let's go ahead and attack them. Nice. Keep looking forward. Oh, I have them looking backwards. My mistake. That's going to cost us bit. Looks like they're using magic. And they're retreating. Alright, let's try to finish these guys off. <laughs> Need medicine now! direction. Um, our ranged unit can attack from a distance. Whether we live, we live unto the Lord. Whether, whether we die, we die unto the Lord. And uh, you move up and attack. No prisoners! Enemy tracker worm was defeated. Got some level ups. Um, looks like we can do melee again. Oh no, we were just picking the direction we look. Okay. They continue to retreat. Form new groups. Or form new positions. Um, let's press on here. Redverse and Crook. Crook were defeated. Alright, now this makes it a little interesting. If we come here, we're going to get flanked. So let's click ranged and attack here. Got some magic attacks and whatnot. And we're going to range here. See their little health bars down here? Let's 
So it looks like I want to get all my ranged characters maybe in one unit rather than splitting them up like this. I don't know. Everybody seems to have a melee attack. Oh, they're coming over here. Okay. Can we do this? We can. Oh, we can't. We can't reach them. Alright, let's move this unit to do melee right here. Alright, so if they don't have a melee attack, they don't attack. Let's do some ranged just to finish them off. Seg Egg was defeated. They're firing range. I wonder if there's permadeath. I'm not quite sure. This is nothing we can't handle. Oh. Alright, let's um let's weaken them with range first if we can. I hope we couldn't reach them. I have to kind of understand when I can't reach them. Like, this looks like it's going to attack, but they might get to that last. Yeah. Okay, they did attack. Bitter Guts was defeated. Got some leveling up. And now we'll melee them. Come on, team. We can do it. Alright, one group left. No, one goblin left on that group. Scar was defeated. Silver Fang was defeated. Um, so is there any way to... Well, let's try to range them. Gut Puller was defeated. I think we won. No? Oh, there's one enemy left. He's in stupor. Let's let this unit finish him off. Cup Polar was defeated. Cool. And we won 2,700 florins, mystery sausage, wooden carving, hand axe, short dagger, all sorts of stuff. Alright, so... Your army is well fed. With three different types of food, they are receiving a six point bonus to base experience points earned. You have one full days of food remaining and rest. Your army is well rested. They're receiving a three point bonus to experience points earned. They haven't, they have six hours until they're tired. Okay, we've got some level ups. Let's see how this works. Um, I, uh, Deal cards, auto level up, show character sheet. Okay, deal cards. Okay, this is interesting. A healing card increases your hero's healing skill. Clerics and druids both must know how to treat wounds. Increases your hero's white element and decreases black. Paladins and clerics receive their powers through the element of light and truth and increases your hero's control skill. Illusionist, alchemists, and aspiring leaders must understand and control causes to reach the desired effects.
She is an aspiring leader, but I'm going to choose healing. Oh, there's more cards. Um, heavy weapons. I'm going to pick control. Gunners and alchemists out amplify the power of the element of technology and machinery. Mages and warlocks have very different approaches, but both of their core reliance skill and casting spells. I'm going to pick white for cleric. Okay, and if we change class. Oh, her element is bronze. Students' healing abilities are not as great as more experienced clerics and druids. Students apply their knowledge of medicine and anatomy and first aid to heal their bad allies in battle. Although highly valued in a party of rookie adventurers, students' healing ability is not as great as experienced clerics and druids. So if I change to Acolyte, whether studying in a monastery or wandering the countryside, Acolytes pray to protect the faithful from harm. Acolytes can become paladins and clerics. Oh. Adventurer can become warriors, foresters, and grifters. Cadet can become knights and mages, and Tinker can become gunner and alchemist. So she should be... Oh, students can become acolytes, cadets, and tinkers. So she should become an acolyte to become either a paladin or cleric. Whether studying in a monastery or wandering the countryside, acolytes pray to protect their faith from harm. So her element is white, attribute, charisma, skill, healing. Okay. Um... That apparently changes things for her. A faithful prayer, okay. That takes her faithful prayer to 89 is a white charisma healing action that heals targets. Oh, but her charisma is only a 10 while her other attributes are higher. This adds to her white and healing, so we'll put on initiate robes, an accessory, we'll put on the healer's pouch, so her faithful prayer is 108. We just have to work on her charisma somehow. So this is interesting, when you have over hundreds of characters, <laughs> and you're dealing all these cards and everything, that's going to be a lot to go through. Um, I don't mind it myself, but let's just go ahead and level everybody up and see how it works. Um, so we've leveled up Aya. Next we've got Yumi, who's a cadet. Um, blue element increases the attack power and leadership of knights and mages. So she's looking to become a knight, perhaps. So let's go ahead and level up and deal the cards. Physical Defense Magic unlocks the Knight character class, Blue Strength Blades. Although any kingdom can argue that its own knights are the strongest or bravest, few would dispute that the Arminians are the best equipped. Or we can raise Physical Defense. The Arar's Warriors, the Irar's Warriors often survive blows that would kill even armored knights or magic attack. Let's go with Knight. This is your hero's, hero's blade skills. Knights and rogues must know how to handle a blade with force and precision. Or increases your hero's strength attribute. Knights and berserkers, though opposed in element, often rely on physical strength to wield their weapons. Or melee attack. Um, let's go with blades. And increases your hero's blue element and decreases red. Knights and mages gain their power through the element of concentration, knowledge, and order. Let's go with blue. So the cards kind of guide you um, so to speak. If that makes sense. Let 
like if you pick knight, you're going to kind of get blue and strength and that sort of thing. So here's Emia Forrester. She's the green element increases the attack power and leadership of rangers and druids. Green also increases hit points for all characters. All right, so she's going to become like a ranger. Right now she's a forester. So let's see how that works. Healing green and ranged attack. Um, increases your hero's green element and decreases bronze. Rangers and druids draw their power from the element of life and nature. Let's go ahead and click that. Agility increases your hero's agility attribute. Rangers and rogues need quick coordination and quick reflexes. Magic attack or druid unlocks the druid character class green spirit healing from the icy northern shore forests to the sun scorched Ilahadi deserts. Druids have found and embraced a balance with nature. Let's go ahead and increase agility. And increase your hero's spirit attribute. Warlocks and druids must have a spirit strongly connected to their primal energy sources. Let's go with ranged attack. The Rajputi Gita sing of many heroes, foremost among them the archer Arjuna, wielder of the Gandiva. Alright, that's pretty cool. Um, Kakiko. He's a wolf brute. Strength. Let's see what cards he gets. Melee attack, alpha strength. Interesting. Alpha unlocks the wolf alpha character class, red charisma control. In the constant and fierce conflict between wolves and the creatures that threaten them, wolves often survive because of the cunning of the pack's alpha. Let's go ahead and make him an alpha. Well, unlock that. Um, physical defense or melee attack. The Yamatai way of warrior teaches you should not have a favorite weapon. To become over familiar with one is as much a fault as not knowing it sufficiently well. Let's go with physical defense. Increases leadership ability. I don't know if Kakiko can become a leader. Reaction and rage. Teaches your heroes the reaction and rage, which increases attack or adds 30 hit points. The denizens of the Shadowlands have mostly forgotten reasoning and ingenuity. The breeds that remain there survive only through sheer tenacity and fortitude. We're going to add 30 hit points. Alright, so he goes to 217. Very cool. Jasmine, the Dryad. She is a bit of green, maybe becoming a druid. She can also become a warlock, it looks like. An illusionist. A mage. Huh. She applies the stupor status, so that's pretty cool. Let's see what we're going to make her. Spellcraft. Mages and warlocks have very different approaches, both for life, their core, and skill in casting. Magical defense. While experimenting as Festa, uh, Festung de Mondes, many academics develop a tolerance to magical shock. Increases your hero's green element and reduces bronze. Yeah, let's give her green. Rejuvenating Breeze. Teaches your heroes the reaction Rejuvenating Breeze, which heals an ally who takes damage. Sure. And... Reaction Thorns. Teaches your hero the Reaction Thorns a magical counterattack. Sure. We'll give her some reactions. She's got special abilities now. Rami. Looks like Rami is a charisma. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see what classes come up for him. Black. Increase your hero's black element, decreases white. Rogues and illusionists rely on the element of secrecy and misdirection. Unlocks the grifter character class, black agility control. Through trickery and intimidation, the Bratva exercise power inside and outside the northern shore court. Or unlocks the forester character class. Even northern shore foresters who can navigate the thickest and darkest woods with ease felt completely lost when first stepping through the open world gates. Let's open up grifter for him. Let's unlock the warrior class. Red spirit heavy weapons. Despite the number of warriors who fought and died for their causes, nothing ever seemed to change until Eve opened the first gate. And... 
blades. Bold attack for Lena. She's got charisma, same stats it looks like. Pretty much a blank slate. Um, let's unlock the warrior class for her. Give her heavy weapons. Paladins, berserkers, both rely on heavy weapons to crush their foes. And... Go with red for her. Move her towards a berserker. Karima, same idea. Um, warrior, heavy weapons. Control. Assad, adventurer. So he's similar, also a blank slate. Um, marksmanship, increase your hero's marksmanship skill. Gunners and rangers need keen eyes and steady hands in order to hit their targets. Go with blades, knights and rogues. Control. Warrior class. Can I change his class? To, I can, to warrior. Okay, so let's see who... We, he's an adventurer, though. Oh, they're, they're all adventurers. Let's see, Rami. Has blades. Knights and rogues. Um, let's change Rami's class to... Grifter, a common sight in large cities, alleys, and sewers. Grifters resort to dirty fighting and cheap shots to throw their enemies off balance. Grifters can become rogues and illusionists. So let's make him a grifter. He's got cheap shot. Probably short dagger would be best for him. Takes him to 67, or arming sword 68. Waistcoat. Or adventurer clothes. 28, 23, 36, 46. Yeah, he's better with the waistcoat. That's everything for him. Oh, he can dual wield, maybe? He can. But for some reason, that only gives him a 70 in cheap shot. Dual wielding daggers. Well, we'll try it out and see what happens. All right, Rami. Lena. Can become a warrior. What are her skills? Heavy weapons. Change her to warrior. Give her a hand axe. And a buckler. buckler. Velvet robes. Cool. Karima. She's also got heavy weapons. Um, warrior. Let's give her a mace and adventuring clothes. the adventurer warriors forces and grifters some tinkers let's try to turn him into a warlock we're running out of stuff no we're good try to turn us into a warlock so we've got musa oh wait can i 
What about Kakiko and them? Dryad. Flame touched. Well, first, ow, oh my gosh. Dryads are fairies that use enchantments to pacify threats to their forest. Dryads focus spells on the strongest enemy attacker. Flame Touch, Red Spirit Spellcraft. Flame Touch are mysterious fey that delight in tormenting evil mortals. When threatened, Flame Touch can inflict searing pain on their attackers from a distance. Darklings are dangerous and mysterious fey creatures that use blinding and clouding spells for protection while draining their enemy's life energy. And Mender. Menders are fairies that are fascinated with fixing and repairing anything broken. In a fight, they will heal their allies' wounds. So let's keep Dryad, actually, for her. Because it, that's like support, buffing, and debuffing. Wolf Brutes are large and powerful creatures that use the strength of their teeth and their hides to protect their packs. Wolf Brutes always attack the strongest enemy. Wolf Skirmishers always attack the weakest enemy and are fast and cunning creatures that thin the enemy herd one victim at a time. Wolf Alphas lead the other wolves, directing their attacks while frightening their enemies. We'll keep him a brute for now. Forester, she's good for now. Yumi. Cadet. She can become a knight. The main frontline sword soldier of most mortal armies. Knights attack with mighty swords while protecting themselves with heavy armor. Alright. Oh. Oh, 109. 111, 125 blocks. She is beastly. We're going to re reform our lances too. Acolyte. Yeah, she's going to become a cleric or a paladin. Warrior. Adventure. Musa. Let's go with marksmanship for Musa. Rogues and illusionists. Forester. And green to become a ranger or a druid. I'll make him a forester, but do we have a weapon? Oh, we do. Short bow and hunter vest. Masuyo, student. Wait, first change class. Okay, nothing. Let's see, you can go any which way. Gunners and alchemists. Let's go with bronze. Something different. Marksmanship, gunners. And... Unlocks the Tinker character class. The Central Kingdom's power rose as the northern shores declined, giving more central lawyers the funds to study, dwar study dwarven artifacts. Paladins and clerics, knights and mages. Uh, let's go with Tinker. Tinker can become gunners and alchemists, right? That's what I wanted. Oh, Masuyo, you need... Artifice. Melee attack. Applies the armor break status to the target. Yeah... She has nothing for her hand, but oh well. We're going to get her something. Susumu is a student healer. So let's go with white healing acolyte. White charisma healing. Yeah, let's go with acolyte. Change her to an acolyte. Faithful prayer. We're gonna have to return to town too and do some stuff. Musashi, another student. Healing. Let's 
go with blue for mage. And spellcraft. Keep him a, a student. And we're back to Aya. So we've leveled everybody up, which is cool. Now we've got to rebuild the lances. Um, all right, so we don't want, we want, uh, Acolyte. All right, who are the ranged characters? We're gonna make this a strictly ranged attack party. Who's got the ranged here? Triad, I believe. Yes. 265 ranged attack. All right, that's all melee. That's all melee. Okay, so we can add that's our ranged group. We can add, um, we've got an acolyte, a warrior, and a warrior. Let's add a warrior to here. Let's add a warrior here. Push you back a little bit. And let's add a, an acolyte. Here. 277, 229, and 265. Excellent. Alright, I'm going to save the game. I don't know how long I've been playing. We've been mostly leveling up here. Um... Let's go ahead and return to Sunrise Falls. I've got to pick up some weapons for some people. Yes. I'm going to go ahead and light a cigarette here after I take a drink. Um... Oh, they're sleeping at night. Can we stay at the inn? Oh, cool. She's wearing, she's holding her walking stick now, her crook. That's pretty neat. How do I pass the time? Need some hired muscle? Rogues and knaves have their use if you have the coin. Oof. Dagger in your enemy's back has never been easier. He'll be back. So I guess you can go around back and stab them as well. That's a trick. Um, there's flanks. There's uh, all sorts of interesting stuff. Let's go ahead and rest. Advance eight hours. There's like, not just flanks, but each side of the hexagon or whatever that shape is. <laughs> Um, I think it's a hexagon. Each side of that, depending on where your characters are not only facing, but where they're standing in the formation, is affected by that. And the goblin still isn't here. Um, can we go in? No.
Just looking for a place where I can buy weapons. Um. Oh, we can't go that way. There's a waterfall there. So pretty interesting game so far, I have to say. Um, I like leveling everybody up by hand. Um, if there's over a hundred characters, that could probably get pretty nuts. Um, I wish there were an option better than auto level up. Like if you auto, like if there was something in the middle where I can say, okay, you're going to be a knight, but let's get you knightly skills rather than, you know, um, kind of randomized, but maybe the auto level up is sorts of sort of works that way to where uh, it's smart. It's a smart auto level up. I don't know, but I'm going to be doing it manually pretty much. So, um, all right. Let's go in the fitting room. Let's see. Who needs a weapon? Masuyo is a tinker. He can use a warhammer or a mace. And chemist gear. Um, what was I making him? Bronze. Gunner or Alchemist. Okay, so for now, just use a mace. And... Put on an apprentice apron. Alright. Susumo Acolyte we were making... Healer, Lamplighter, that's pretty interesting, eleven hundred, let's just get her a Shepherd's Crook. everybody then fairy wand that increases her forgetting quite a bit from 87 to 105 as well as her other stats even her block and dodge and her critical hit I'm gonna buy that and equip it Buckler's 450. Let's get Karima a buckler and Assad a buckler. And let's save the rest of our florins in case we need food. And there's nothing really to sell. Sproutling wand. I guess we can sell the Sproutling wand. Student spell book for our mage. So we'll sell that. And that'll be it. What's the glass orb for? Illusionist warlock mage cleric. Okay. Alright. Alright, so I would say now we're ready to fight bandits. Um... I don't think I've been playing a terribly long time. Trying to see how I can save. There we go. Uh, 
I may cut it out here and just call this the upgrading episode where we upgraded everybody, fought a couple, fought a couple slime or a couple goblins, and then next time we'll try a wolf pack up in the further reaches of the map and just call this the upgrading episode so you guys know what to expect. Uh, there is an auto level up button, but if you want to do it by hand, you know, I show you what to expect here. Uh, pretty neat, actually. Lots of customization, lots of equipment customization, uh, various skills and stuff that your character can learn through cards, um, reactions they're called, and other little things you can learn. So I want to say thanks for joining me. Um, this might have been a shorter episode, I'm not sure. I don't know how long I've been playing, but I apologize if it is. But this is a good place to cut off. Um, appreciate your viewership. Much love, peace, joy, and light to you guys, and I hope you found something interesting in this video, and I hope you stick with me as we continue the game into the future, and we fight more battles and progress the story and whatnot. So this was just kind of a, a sub-episode, kind of a side episode. Alright, so I will see you next time. Again, much love. Thanks for watching. So long.